Hello once again, punkers. Uh, yeah, Pokepunk here again. Uh, today we are opening up Professor Juniper, the little milk carton. Um, now my question is, uh, which I'm, I'm just going to do off the back of this anyway, is um, how much value is in one of these cartons? So I paid uh, 40, I believe it was about 43 English pounds for these. So what we're going to do is crack them open and see pack wise, you know, is it worth the value? So without further ado, let's just get straight into it with the help of my lovely assistant. I'm going to see if she's available. <laughs> Little milk cartons used to be easier than this one. Oh, I'm sure they did. I'm sure you remember. <laughs> yep, oh, I remember getting milk at the Oh, <laughs> so inside we have. We have. Oh, it's on. Mm -hmm. At front, we can't actually see what it is. So. have a code card. There you go. Gone. Oh, Professor's Research Hollow. There should be, if I'm not mistaken, three of those. One, two, and mm. after this there should be shiny, yes, shiny. shiny the full art version. Professor's Research. Very nice. Have some very, um, nice very nice sleeves. Very nice indeed. Had 65 of those. We have the oversized hey, Professor's Research coin. Shiny, shiny. And, and a couple of damage counters. Which, yeah. Uh, if we were to put a price on these, uh, these packs, I, I believe, I've, I've been informed, they're going for around £10 a pack of cart. Um, never bought them like this myself, um, so we should find out. Uh, damage counters and the coin, probably 50p. Uh, the press, Professor's Research Hollows, I'd say they're probably pound a card. 50p pound a card maybe uh, full art version which I'm about to be informed you know what I want? yeah about yeah oh they're going dollars. for yeah. About $2. About $2 each. So, mm. so if we say £5 for all three. And um, can't quite make out the number on that. There it is. There it is. Yeah, with that one. That's about $5. About, uh, again, about, about 5 so if, if we say so far out of out of the box without opening any packs we haven't seen what the packs are yet it's probably it's i'll, I'll, I'll give a give a low estimate seven pound fifty for the lot that you see there give or take so mm -hmm. let's see what else we get okay. oh the, the dice. dice we'll just throw them in round round them yeah yeah not really nice. yeah. So, yeah, £7.50. So, we have the deck box. Now, to me, from here, that looks like they've got to round that pack. So, these boxes are actually quite nice. And you can yeah, yeah, probably get fibre alone for the box on its own. So, yeah. A little Velcro fastening. And here's all the packs. Yes. So we have a Brilliant Stars, another Brilliant Stars, not bad so far, 
A third brilliant stars. Good. I'm liking these packs. Oh, I'm thinking Astral Fusion. Is it Astral Fusion? It's a Fusion, fusion. Strike. And we have it's another Fusion, fusion strike. strike. And oh. evolve. you can't go wrong when there's an Evolving Skies in there. And a Chilling rain. rain. Very nice. So, pack, pack prices wise, Evolving Skies... You, they, you pay, you're paying around six or seven pounds for them. So let's put it at the lower estimate, six pounds. The other packs, uh, I'd say these, these three at the front, they're going for around four pounds. The brilliant stars depends where you go. You pay around five pounds. So if we was to say fifteen, uh, twelve, so seven. 35 quid for that lot plus 15 quid for that. you're looking at around between 45 to 50 pounds for this lot I paid 42 for the entire set so you're not too bad plus the little box uh, the little deck box so yeah you're looking at around so far I'd, I'd say about 50 pounds before opening any packs up so that's not bad value so yes I might add that off you for my chalk. Yes. So anyway, shall we open some packs, people? Starting, I, I shall let my my lovely assistant open up a chilling rain. I've been told what I can open now. <laughs> mm. I glued that one down, don't I? Seven, seven packs. That's, that's pretty good. I like these little cards. I know there have have been some others. We've got the Marnies, and there are some new ones mm. coming out. Oh, could be good. Could be good. What we got? There's a code card and gone. One, two, three, four. Do you want to gamble on the energy? Lightning. I've not seen any lightning for a while. No. No water. Weeding gloves. If only we had a garden. <laughs> Echoing horn. Echoing horn. Whirly bead. Hey. Sobble. Oh, oh you said you needed to chew up your sobble. Somebody made you sad. You need to cuddle. You need to cuddle. Skin cuddles. Oh, oh I'm very sweet. Hey, Benchy. Fur Pampered Poodle. <laughs> Diglett. I don't know why Diglett has such a bad rap. I don't know. What does his bottom half look like? Probably like the top half, mine is a nose. Giant potato? Not quite what I was does, thinking. Does but... he have arms and legs? Does he have legs? Who knows? <laughs> Love Esther. Eh. Oh, reverse. Heracross. Yeah, Heracross. Now what's the rare? And the rare is... Oh, oh, oh silver oh. border. Oh. Oh. oh, wow. Rainbow Karen's Conviction. Very nice. Rainbow cards are absolutely awesome. I um, think that's the first one I've pulled. <laughs> yeah, oh, I think it might well be. Yes. Lovely. So, we'll show Karen's Conviction coming out of the chilling rain. Very good. So, yeah, let's move that, put that up here. With all our nice pulls up here. For a moment. Gravy of about oh about sixty-five dollars in a PSA ten. Hmm. There you go. Sixty-five dollars. Uh what's that? Just just shy of sixty English pounds. So in a in a PSA ten. So it's looking like it might be a good choice this box. 
But anyway, I shall. Mm. Sorry, Peter, but you are so much. Shaky, shaky. Yeah. So, there you go. And I shall. I shall go for a fusion strike. Leaving the brilliant stars and involving the skies till last. Oh, white code card. Polos. Not that I'll send a blue fruity polo. Oh. Yeah. Beware. 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 Anybody that says they, they're not a fan of EV, I, I'm sorry. Go away. Everybody loves EV. Shinx. And our reverse. Is it the reverse? I don't know if it is a reverse yet. That's reverse. A Zoroark. 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 And our non hollow rare. Thatius. Striking out on the fusion strike. Yes, and I think my um my rainbow hollow trumps all that. Oh yes. So there we go. So and next one for another fusion strike. Okay. something it's oh, just yeah. a little cutie yeah little cutie piggy little schoolboy no thanks <laughs> yo shell me no a drill bar he's a very happy little moly yeah little happy moly Bunnelby. Ooh, Bunnelby. Hobbling at the moon as well. <laughs> Mudkip. Mm -hmm. And reverse. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And the rare is... Butterfree! Butterfree Hollow. Yay! Yeah, nice cut. I like that. I like that for you. Mm. Pop those there for you. And now, moving into... Da, da, da. Brilliant stars. Let's see if I carry on with some luck. I think it might be right because I can't get in the thing. Yeah. 
Well, Doesn't I mean... don't rule out white code cards and brilliant stars because you can always have something awesome in the reverse slots. One, two, three, four. Ah, we have the fire. Cynthia's ambition. Stummy. I uh, disclops. Clinks. Schnorrant. Nose pass. Yeah. 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 I think we're coming up for the uh, reverse. Here in a moment. Oh, it's just standard reverse. We've got the cleaning gloves, cleansing gloves, even. And the rare. There Christmas time. Okay. Yeah, you do your cute, you know, that's, cool. that's quite a nice card, actually. I quite like that one. Yes. So, there we go from the first Brilliant Stars. He's putting them away. Onto the balloon. Yeah, so. but do I want to open Charlie's eyes? Oh. <laughs> oh, saving the Charizard. Yeah. Don't start singing. Monferno. No, he's a cute little monkey. Yeah, yeah, monkey. Cafe Master. Maybe he can make a nice coffee. Yeah. Chimcha. Oh, another little monkey. Mm. Cast bomb. Yeah. Oh. Uh, is that a reverse lot? No, it's the impidimp. Impidimp. Impidimp, and that's one reverse. No. Shinx. Oh. Shinx. The next one is the reverse. The reverse, we have. Something green, something shiny. Cherry mm, Cherry reverse hollow. Like. Fable. Fable. No one could be upset about that. No. Everybody loves the little cutie ones. So, I shall hand you back over. I shall go for. So, I'm going to go for the child because I love it. Uh, it's wonderful. So, I'm going to leave the Evolving Sky. Lovely whiffy appendix. She's not whiffy, she's my wifey. <laughs> whiffy, whiffy wifey? No, I don't think she's, she's, she's not whiffy. Anyway, let's, let's get back to the card, shall we? I don't think they need to know about your whiffy wifey. Oh, never white. Oh God, never mind. Oh, well, oh, yes. oh. oh there we go. Nearly forgot about you guys. Uh, turn it up the right way. There you go. Mm, gone. gone. Uh, one, two, three, four. Psychic. So don't. Looks a bit crabby, doesn't it? <laughs> Magma Basin. Hit, 
Hit on top. Hit on top. Okay. Hit on top. Shroomish. A throw. Throw. A judo expert. Oh. 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 Cast form. Trapins. Is it trapins? Yeah. Is so the trapping? reverse is shiny and red. Mm. And oh. It, it, oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. Look at that in the reverse slot. That is a beautiful card. That is indeed. I like that. But it's not a rainbow trainer. It's not a rainbow trainer. And the rare is Muck, Muck Non Hollow. So that can go there, that can go there. So that just leaves the Evolving Skies, which are many people's. Favourite set from the Sword and Shield era. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But yes, it is a good set, and so is Brilliant Stars. I've had more luck with Brilliant Stars, but the latest set. Card gone. Yep, as I was saying, the latest set, the Crown Zenith, as everybody knows, has great pulls, great pulls. So I'm I'm a bit divided at the moment as to what my favourite set is from the Sword and Shield base, but yes. Anyway, a bit of fighting. Braviary. Yeah, Braviary. Awesome looking pigeon. That is. Flaky. Moving mm -hmm. badge. <laughs> oh, Buffy. <laughs> He's had a few too many Buffy's. Rock and Roller. Oh. Oh, we all love a bit of Rock and Roll. We do indeed. Rufflet. <laughs> Never pigeon. Dweeble. No. Nick it. <laughs> All the fireflies in the background. And what do we have in oh, the reverse slot? Reverse slot we have the scraggy. And that means the red. Is there is. non hollow. So there we are, chaps and chapesses. Yes, Professor Juniper box. I'm very pleased with. Quite happy with that one. Uh, we had a few good pulls out there. A couple of good pulls. We had the Rainbow, Rainbow Karen, and the All Arts. This is is it? Yeah. So, yeah. So, what are your guys' thoughts? We're uh, yes. So of course, yeah, so value-wise, out of the box, yeah, it's invisible. $20 card. Uh, ungraded. Ungraded. Said, oh, so apparently ungraded, that's like a $20 card. Wow. That's nice. I like it. Yeah. I can't find a graded price. Hmm. No graded price. Oh. Oh. No. That's in recent. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just can you cut the little prices? So, yes. So, what do you guys think? Have you opened these up? Did you have uh, good luck? What sort of pulls did you guys get out of them? Uh, again, so if you, if you like the video. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, yes, we shall see what happens. So yeah, so once again, 
We shall just get one more equal price meet on this one. On alchemy. And the China Gallery. Yeah, talking right, about 20, in, 25. In, in a 9, it's around 15, so I presume in a 10, you're probably about 25, 30. So yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with the Professor Jennifer box. Um, some good pack collection, selections in there, a couple of good pulls. That's what it's all about, chasing the cards. Anyway, guys, I hope you had fun. Um, I know we did, so... Yeah, that's what it's all about when it comes to the Pokemon enjoying what you do, which it is. So give us a like, give us a subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Pokepunker out. Ciao for now.